Put down your weapon, the police officer announced in a deadly, serious tone. Put down your weapon, or we'll be forced to shoot, the police officer urgently repeated like a tiger seeking his prey. Frank stood on his porch, not being able to hear their words. This is the last time I'm going to say this. You either put down your weapon, or we'll be forced to defend ourselves, the police officer warned. Frank, in his mid-80s, unable to see clearly without his glasses, unable to hear properly without his hearing aids, he took a step, one step, his very last step, in the direction of the commotion. The police opened fire. They used handguns, machine guns, tear gas, every available weapon in their stockpile to destroy this geriatric menace. Judges, jurors, executioners. When the gunfire stopped, and the onlookers stopped looking, and the police were finally able to assess the damage, all they found was an old man, his toothbrush, and some rotted old dentures that fell out of his mouth. Inside the house of this supposed evil criminal mastermind, there were no guns, there were no knives, no explosives. The police were looking for a man named Frank, but not this Frank. So, family and friends protested, his son tried suing the police department for police brutality, excessive force, murder. This was an outrage, and the injustice was monumental. In the end, those amounted to mere words. The police department had other plans. Frank was pinned as an antisocial, psychopathic criminal. While the police rewarded themselves with medals, the dirt they found was minuscule, but dirt nonetheless. When Frank was 19, he was arrested for shoplifting. He stole a radio. When Frank was 25, he was arrested for marijuana possession while driving a friend's car. Frank said it wasn't his. Frank went to jail anyway. When Frank was 28, he got a speeding ticket. Yes, it's easy to confuse. Frank Roberson, age 85, with Frank Robison, age 45. If you're an incompetent prick that doesn't give a fuck about human life, no one cared to match the profiles either. All they knew was they had their man. Frank rests in his grave with 58 holes throughout his decaying body while the city snores a little less louder tonight, knowing an innocent man has been killed while a fugitive still runs free. Rest in peace, old